what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it is roche ball you guys hi you guys that intro was jacked up okay as you guys can see i'm a little sluggish today because the weather is making me sleepy no ass i got up early in the morning and repaired this nail that got broke yesterday and i did the acrylic very very thin because in case my new job had me cut my nails down it'll be easy to just put that nail cutter through and just cut them down you know and that's it I can kind of still have my nails done once I cut them and file them. That should be it. This music is annoying. Hold on. Yeah, shut up. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, the things that I got that I got from AliExpress. They came yesterday um, along with my cigarettes, which is these right here. Okay. Um, but I did end up getting these on, what was that, Thursday or Friday, one of them. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm going to show you, too, a little bit more of the painting that I did. Um, I only worked on one. I'm going to do the other one as soon as I get some more gold paint and all that other stuff later on. So that won't be worked on until I get more paint. But after I finish this, I'm going to start a whole new painting. And I want to make sure I work on that every single day. I really want to be more detailed with that, but I'm going to show you all that later on. But first things first... <laughs> I hated that these cigarettes burn fast. But anyway, I'm going to show you the things that I picked up from AliExpress. Now, I got two pairs of glasses and a wig. But this wig, unfortunately, because of my braids, I won't be able to try it on. But I'm just going to show you guys anyway. It's just a regular synthetic wig. But I'm going to show you the kind of synthetic wigs that I get. Because the kind of synthetic wigs that I get don't have that obviously a wig shine. Um, it has more of a... It has more of a... What do you call it? It has more of a shiny look. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. I'm sorry. It has more of a natural look. Such as if you just blow dried your hair after taking out a braid out or something like that. That's the kind of wigs I get. So it can still look somewhat, quote unquote, real. You know? So let me go show you guys. These are the shades that I picked up from AliExpress right here. They're about three something, I think, each. But I'm going to show you. I got two pairs. I got this new color pair right here. And I got it because it looks so big. For the lady on the picture, it looks so big. See? And let me, let me just put these on. to show you guys. This is giving me... Oh, my gosh. Excuse me. You're in my light. No. What's that saying when the lady says, I don't dream of labor? I really feel like a sedity, stuck up, I'm going to my trailer, please have my wheatgrass ready type of person. Like, But I love them because they're like, <clears throat> I like the frame. I like the color of the lenses. And these are just on. I'm feeling these, G. These is giving me, you can't sit with us in real life too. Okay, so that's these pair. And these ones are a color green. I'm going to go back and get some more color of these. I think I might want all the colors. These colors right here is giving me, you think I'm not watching, but I am. This is a diary of a mad black ashy woman. They're giving me somewhat car wash feel, 70s. If we had a 70s party, these are the glasses I would wear. I don't understand why people get glasses and take the lens out and wear them like that. If I'm going to wear glasses, in case somebody does something like this, it will hit my lens before it will hit my eye. And I understand people just like the frame. Maybe that's the way people choose to wear their glasses. Okay, have at it. The road is yours. Whatever. But I like these glasses. It's the same as the other ones. Um, but these are like the green clear kind. That's why I say you think I'm watching, but I'm not. They have some other kind, but I'm more of like the dark glasses. I'm gonna If I'm going to wear any glasses that are clear where you can see my eyes still, so you can be able to tell if I'm rolling my eyes or not. You can tell. But if I'm going to get clear glasses, I like how dark it is at the top. And then at the bottom, it's kind of light. You can still see my eyes either way. But yes, this is the, I'm, I'm filling these glasses. I love them both. And I want to go back and order me some more. I don't have any 
glasses that are I don't have too many glasses that with red frames, so I think they got red ones like these. Again, these are from AliExpress. Everything I'm going to show you today is from AliExpress. So these glasses were about three something each. Like a good four dollars. Let me just say four dollars each. Or, or it could be in six something. I don't remember. But I will go back and check. Okay, this is the synthetic wig that I was telling you guys about. Again, I do apologize for not showing you guys a demonstration of how they look when they're on. Hold on. I do apologize for the smoke. Okay, so this is kind of heavy. Let me set this down so I can do my duty. Okay. All this. Okay. See, let me show you guys the wigs I'm talking about. This is a synthetic wig. It does give you the adjustable strap. It has absolutely, positively no combs in it, though. I don't really get wigs with combs because I don't use glue adhesive or any kind of tape. I use blessed oil staples, you know. But no, I use the combs and bobby pins. But this has no combs in it at all. And with this, the part is workable. I can work with that part. I wish I could try it on. I wish I had a mannequin head or something. But look at it. It's fluffy. As you guys can see, I can either wear this to a pony. I can wear it in a pony too if I wanted to. But again, I'm not going to be able to really try it on. It's giving me a lot of bushy hair. You see how it's like, it almost looks like you took out your braids. Don't it look like that? And you just blow dry it and try to press it, but you just said, forget it. I'll just brush it out. That's what it looks like. And when I, if I was to go outside with this on, it doesn't give it that fake wig shine because it looks kinky. I can make this pass from my hair. Sometimes I put gel on it and I brush it out once it gets kind of hard. And after that, it'll look even more like my hair. I think I'm in the four family, as far as four texture, the number four textures four, and maybe up there with four C, and maybe I don't know. But this is the kinkiest that I can get a synthetic wig. But uh, I'm gonna have to work with it when it's time to put it on, cause absolutely no combs. But I do have headbands that I can actually put together with it. I can sew some combs in here. I can sew. Uh, another strap in here that people use to kind of like put on their head first and then they put the wig on I can sew a strap to it to make sure it's secure and it will stay underneath these wigs I usually do like the chain braids or like plaits but I think it'll be okay just me wearing it out like this and it's shedding already all this hair you can't, you can't see it but you can see a couple of strands but yeah it sheds so let me just go ahead and put it back in this thing and it also came with a free little wave cap. Sometimes they give me clips and wave caps. So I have about quite a few of these from other times I've ordered a wig. Whether it's from AliExpress or Amazon. I'm not going to put the net back on it. But this is going to be my wigs home until I can get a bigger container to put all my wigs in. Which I do have one but it's at my sister's house in the high desert area. And I don't want to buy another wig. I told myself not, I was not going to buy any more wigs, but I just couldn't resist it, getting this one. My other synthetic ones I did throw away because they were too shiny and, you know, I don't want everything to look, you know. Mm -mm. If I'm going to get a synthetic wig, it's going to look real. Okay, and that's just what it is. Um, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys my painting. If you guys remember seeing the painting that I did this morning, the video that I showed you, I'm going to show you how it looks now. If I have my other phone, I'll be able to show you guys a before and after, just in case if you didn't see the video. If I have my other phone. Oh, hold on, you guys. You can see a little bit of it now, but nothing beats the full Monty. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find it for y'all. It's actually on the phone I'm taping from. Let me Let me show you guys real quick. I actually was out there painting for a whole hour. I was just, I had to look at a, um, a couple of videos that gave me an idea of where I wanted to take the painting. But, um, and I found it. And I'm still quite not finished with it yet. I mean, I really want to take my time 
and be very detailed with that painting so i still got i feel a couple more tries on that one before i start on a whole new canvas because i want to make sure that um every nook and cranny of every painting that i do is um attacked or whatever you want to call it oh Okay, so I guess I can't show you guys. Let me see if I can go to my um, photos somewhere. In case I'm not able to show you guys the painting, I'm going to have to show you guys what... I okay, so oh, that's just a picture. Shoot. What's so, up, everybody? It is Roche Ball. I want that's to the painting right there. The painting that I did yesterday. Now, this one is not finished. But um, just to let you guys okay, know, did y'all see that? That we put together that I showed you guys in the Michaels Hall yesterday. I had to go to a YouTube video in order to show you guys. In case y'all didn't see that video this morning, this is what the painting looks like now. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of that smoke. Hold on. Hold on. This is what the painting looks like now. Now, this is the same painting I just showed y'all. This is what the painting looks like now. Okay, it's giving me waterfall. And this painting is 100% inspired by, guess who? If you said Bob Ross, you are right. Okay, I got making the mountains and the trees using his technique. I was very highly inspired and influenced to do this painting because of Bob Ross. And I feel like this, as you can see, look at the water splashes on the ground. I was determined to figure out a way to incorporate a waterfall in this painting. I looked at several, I looked at James Bowen, I believe that's his name, B-O-W-E-N. I looked at James Bowen's of how to really do the mountains right, even though you'll get the same thing looking at Bob Ross' video. This one, this mountain right here, I'm deciding to leave like this. Because this mountain, I wanted to give the illusion that it's kind of a little further than these mountains right here. Which is why it has a little snow on them. And this one has a lot of snow on it. Because I wanted to, um, like I said, incorporate mountains being close and this mountain being like far away. Now there is a mountain behind these trees, but I messed up pretty bad. So I just kind of hit them with trees. But you can see a little hint of the mountain, as you guys can see, with a little snow on it. Okay, so, but this is not done yet but one more try to this i'm gonna attempt to make some rocks somewhere do something to make it look more realistically got paint all over my hands and then i'll be finished so this whole painting was indeed inspired by bob ross the late bob ross and um i'll do it again i wanted to incorporate an underwater world like up here looks snowy and with trees and then it gets a waterfall into like right here and then down here i'll do like a water like an underwater with dolphins and all that almost like a lisa frank type look but i said mm -mm, no let me practice on how to do stuff like that later on i may do a whole underwater world next with corals and stuff like that because i love the underwater life i like looking at music that relaxes me and helps me unwind and go to sleep just looking at underwater stuff it looks like a screensaver because they play nice music and you can see different fishes, you know, and they show you different angles of inside the ocean. I like stuff like that. So that might be my next painting, but I would rather um, stick to mm, easiest type of paintings until I can get there. The other painting with the flower, I'm going to attack that again and do it like I wanted to do it. I'm going to show you guys that one and then I'll show you that how that one looks once I finish it. But that's going to be later on. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the progress right here that I've made with the painting that I showed you guys in the video this morning and the little clip that I showed you guys a couple minutes ago. So this is a painting right here. And to get the painting that I wanted, I listened to certain, like I have a playlist on Spotify called Drawing Music. And it has... A song from Narnia on there called Escaping London. Then it also has the music when Mufasa dies and 
Simba's being chased by the antelopes and Scar comes in Long Live the King and he kills Mufasa. I like listening to that type of music because it kind of slows down then it revs up and, and that gives me my Peyton edge. And I'm able to concentrate with that kind of music. Instrumental only. And there's a couple of songs I got on my playlist from Minecraft and also on Edward Scissorhands when he was sculpting out the ice and she was dancing in it. That is also on there too because I like to kind of like... That's the kind of music I listen to when I'm ready to calm down the painting, add my little last finishing touches, and then that's it. When I'm really working on the mountains and trying to get them the right way, I listen to music that makes me paint a certain way so I can achieve what I want. But um, I try not to paint so hard, but as you can see, it's not showing through the back at all. These are some really good canvases, and I'm thinking about going back and getting me some more this size. Then I'm going to achieve a bigger size. I don't want to go smaller than this. I may want to go from this size on bigger. So I just want to show you guys um, my painting that I did so far. I'm going to handle this with care. Sorry, y'all looking at my booty shorts. I'm at home, so it don't matter. And I also want to show you guys the shades that I did pick up from AliExpress. I love these shades. Can't nobody tell me nothing when I wear these. I probably will be wearing these the most, but I'll be wearing both of them. Anybody knows me, and it's another fact about me, I collect shades. The bigger the lens, the better. The weirder the frame look, the better. I like Elton John. I was inspired to wear these kind of shades and get my glasses, period, from Elton John, Elvis, and Hollywood from the movie The Mannequin. Can nobody tell me nothing with these glasses? These are bougie bitches at the beach glasses. Especially when I get the red frames. Ugh. And the white ones. I'm, ain't nobody gonna like me at all. I mean, I don't act. You know sometimes when you put on a wig, put on the glasses, you think you're somebody else? No. I just like to wear things. I was, I was always afraid to really express my style and how I feel. So... I won't be anymore. It took a long time for me to find my style. And ain't nobody gonna make me change at all. If you're a guy who says, well, you ain't gotta wear those guys. You ain't gotta do this. You ain't gotta wear that jewelry. You ain't gotta wear that. Bye. I don't care how fine you are. You look like Mark Wahlberg and Roman Reigns mixed up. Goodbye. If you're making me change my style, goodbye. If you tell me, don't get all your face pierced. Don't get this pierced. Don't get that. Bye. Because that means that could be a sign of you being controlling. I'm just saying, I've seen it before and I've ignored it. We didn't end up lasting anyway, so I didn't really care. But, um, and the wig as well, but I had to put it back in here because it was starting to shed and I feel like hair is already on my face. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm still going to work on that painting. If not tonight, I'm definitely going to do my last finishing touches on it tomorrow. And I will show you guys the finishing product of that painting i'm almost finished but um thank you all so much for watching this video i love hauls and i'm gonna keep on doing hauls anytime i get something i'm gonna show y'all i don't care if it's something little i'll make the video longer if, even if it's one thing i'll make it longer just talking about that one thing for like six hours i don't care um but seriously i don't want to be long-winded but i do want to let you guys know that i will be going live once i reach 100 subscribers I did have a person unsubscribe, but that's okay. I'm going to keep the train moving. All aboard, everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm a little sluggish and a little drowsy because the weather is stank right now. It looks very, very drowsy outside. Kind of gloomy-ish. Like, not foggy. Because if it was foggy, I wouldn't even done this video because I would be asleep. But um, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm about to probably like take me a little nap or something. Maybe make me some soup and take a nap. And I appreciate you guys watching my video. Gotta go. Bye.